when you buy your clothes second hand When you got time to give your neighbour a helping hand When you plant a tree on barren land I have a feeling you get, hope you understand It's cause you just press the green button Oh, there's no them and us, it's me and you The things we buy and the things we use The way we treat nature the way Well, we've got something special for you whistleblowers And um, <laughs> this is this is almost a complete set of Acme whistles um, And uh, we've got the Acme Thunderer We've got a plastic Acme whistle here Which I've never seen I love the marble plastic on it And... Um, and finally, we've got an Acme Girl Guides whistle. And they go... And they go... And they go... That's the Girl Guide one. And, uh, yeah, and, and, and. Anyway, that's my little collection of, um, of uh, three Acme whistles. But the one that really excites me is a plastic one. I, I've had a fair few of these ones over my time, Somebody's but the plastic one I've never had. It's lipstick on it. I've lipstick on my lipstick on my whistle. To that sounds bad, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it does, yeah. Let's um, move on. Uh, yeah, let's move on then. Um, Shall we get straight into the lower levels of things? Um, we got a couple of plastic figures here. I say I'm an idiot for plastic figures. They're 20 pence or 50 pence. As I nearly always say to you, they're works of art. I don't know who he is. Any of you young people, which these days we've decided is anyone under 80. <laughs> and um, uh, if you know who they are, please tell us in the comments. I would like to know. They're going to say absolutely nothing on his feet. <clears throat> and... Oh, it's all written there. Is it? It's all written on the on the inside leg, as the tailors used to say. Um, I don't know if you can read that. I can't read that. But um, hey, folks, um, uh, that's the info on it. Anyway, I'd love to know who he is. He's Purple Bug Man, as far as I'm concerned. But here's his friend, oh, yeah. who is Mr. Wasp, I suppose. <laughs> I really don't know. I'm sure people must know who he is. And... Uh, Again, he has nothing written on his feet. He's got nothing written on his back. He has. He, has he? On his wings. I know, that's what I was going to say, Sue. He's got it, but look, he's written on the wings. And um, uh, do you think that's readable for anyone? I don't know if he's got a date on. Made in Hong Kong, so he's... um. Uh, you know, he's going to have some age to him. They didn't make much plastic stuff in Hong Kong in recent years, but of course, in the uh, post Second World War um, and, and the 60s, they were the king of plastics. Mm. Anyway, he is, I don't know who he is, but he's a wasp man as far as I'm concerned. Oh, look, he's got pincers. He's stinging his tail. He's stinging his tail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, rather like me. Rather like Spotty Spotty Cat. Yeah. <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do, I'll do these in a minute. The next thing I'm going to do is these couple of sugar bowls. Oh, yeah. Now, they might also have been slot bowls, but um, these, I think, the glass ones, I always think are actually um, sugar bowls. The Victorians had the most crazy amount of sugar. This, because it's been in the sunlight, um, the glass t starts to turn purple after a while, lead glass. Um, and uh, and it is just lovely. Uh, you know, you can't manufacture it that. It's just something that comes with age. And it's got a, it's got those wonderful expressions of the UK, which is a daisy. It's I don't know which, which country oh. that was. A thistle and another daisy. It's like... Um... And a daisy and a thistle. So it's probably made for the Scottish market. And, um, it's not a quake, is it? No, it's not a quake. And, um, and, and, and it is, as we always say, this actually is a two-part mould. No, it's a four-part mould. One here, one here, and one there, and one there. Um, anyway, absolutely lovely. Uh, nice on the base. And, 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 and just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, uh, Victorian press glass, we were the masters the masters until the Americans took it over, but we sort of taught them. And 
Oh, this is another Victorian sugar bowl. Oh, that's lovely. But the interesting thing about this, about all the press glass I've shown you um, in Spotty Spotty Cat, is this actually has a maker's mark on the bottom. Oh. And now I don't know if you can get that well done. Yeah. That is um, a Davison mark. Um, I think it's not oh. Salve, is it? It's Davidson. Davidson were a Manchester firm, two big firms, Davidson and Salve. Salve was uh, Newcastle, North East England, and uh, and uh, this was made in Manchester. And that particular mark is about, um, I think that's about 1880, 1885. Um, there's about three or four variations. Um, very often you get an RD number on as well, so you can date them to the actual day the design was registered. But, do you know, Victorian sugar bowls, um, that was a pound. This was 50 pence a pound. Whoa, pussycat on the roof. And uh, it says, oh, the world's falling in. No, it's the pussycat on the roof. And uh, anyway, Victorian glass sugar bowls. And um, just to lower the tone a bit more, we're going to get into the toy cars. And um, here we go. And, and, and. Uh, this one here is um, Quattro. Uh, we have a very soft spot in our fire up the Quattro. And uh, it was ashes to ashes, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, with the man, with yeah. the very attractive man for ladies with the pockmarked face. And um, anyway, as I always say, if you had... Philip Lannister. A, a, what was he called? Philip Lannister. Oh, you love him, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ashes to ashes. Funk to funky, yeah we know the Quattro Audi's a junkie, blah 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 blah. Um, this I thought was just, oh and who made this? This was, um, oh I can't see, you'll have to figure it out yourself. Yeah, we'll turn them up the right it. way. Um, uh, and, 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 and that might very well have a date on where it was made, etc, etc. Yeah. And, and, I, can't, um, I can't make it out when the, No, when the but our is. young people will be able to read that. And, and, and. Uh, the next one was just this, which is Aspen Ski Holidays. And uh, Aspen, Colorado, of course, is like the, um, what do they call that place in um, in France or Switzerland where all the posh people go in Europe? Anyway, Aspen oh, is um, the same as that place. Like um, Gestad or... Gestad, somewhere like that, yeah. Or, or and again, that's got or... info on the bottom. Uh, if I get my hands out of the way, perhaps it'll... Ah! Oh, crash! Yeah. Crash, crash, crash. And, uh, uh, yeah, and you might be able to focus on that. A um, matchbox. Yeah, it's interesting. It must have been made for an American market. Someone must have bought that in America and bought it back to here. Aspen, anyway, for all you people who love skiing, vroom, vroom, that's the toy car for you. Now, the next two are just intriguing to me. They are... We turn them upside down and if you can get any focus on that plastic writing at the top i found it hard to read the focus full stop. isn't very good and no, try backwards and forwards on it and uh, uh to see if he'll go if i put him down maybe it'll focus better if my hands aren't there and um it's not very good no anyway i'll turn him up the interesting way <laughs> and um uh, these are both hot wheels um and um I think the 1980s, um, I, I did get a magnifying glass out and read, and I've got a pair of them. And uh, you know how it is for me, I am a bit of a fool for Hot Wheels. I um, love them to bits. They're always individual works of art, and and um, if I knew a pair of twins, I could uh, give them those as a present. Right, Sue, I'm just going to stop here for a minute and... Uh, Reload the table. These are interesting, if only because these came from a very posh antique shop, um, Tim Nelson's shop in Brecon, and um, which just proves it's always worth a look. The two jam spoons were both a pound each. Um, this got a bone handle, this got a mother of pearl handle. The little collars on here will be solid silver. And uh, they're British-made cutlery. Um, sometimes you get a hallmark on the silver, but of course, if there's not enough, then uh, you don't. Both marked EPNS on the back, um, and the, particularly the silver, uh, the, the, the pearl handle one is in just brilliant, Nick. And uh, but 
a pound a piece and um and such use and from the same shop i bought this which is what they call a bread plate mm. and uh this is um oh it's clobber design i it's got a transfer on colored in a little bits of gold gilding uh added on by hand as well and what i really do like is the butterflies did you spot the butterflies so no. There's one. Where? Oh. And there's another. Yeah. And there's another, I think. And is the one round here as well, or is that it's a flower? To be, isn't it? That's a flower, isn't it? Oh, oh yes. is it? Yeah, yeah. And anyway, um, on the back, it's just got one indentation mark, which is here, which. I don't think this is Lanesley, but that is a absolute classic Lanesley mark. But I think this is Staffordshire, you know, and one of our Staffordshire potteries. And this is, it could be as early as 1870, 1880, probably more about 1900. This was three pound. And, and it, it's proof that it's worth looking in all the shops, if you like, um, mm. if you have an obsession with collecting things. Um, uh, and amazing to be able to buy something like this, which is again is 120 years old plus, mm. three pounds, really useful uh, uh, as well. Bread plates were very, very common. I suppose the Victorians just ate more bread than we did. Anyway, that's that's, um, that's the bread plate. And um, I don't know. Next thing I'll do here is just a beautiful piece of that's cut so glass. Lovely. And um, absolutely lovely. I love the little oh, cuts. Yes. Can you see the cuts on the top? as well and they're really nice up here mm. and this is absolutely phenomenal and uh, for some reason this isn't marked is it so deep? can you see anything on the bottom no i just get it into no i am virtually certain this is edinburgh crystal proper it's edinburgh quality. crystal not the international yeah. made abroad stuff um, um but i'm pretty certain that this is edinburgh crystal and uh would have cost a fortune. I presume I bought Gorgeous. it in a charity shop for a pound or two. I don't remember which one. Probably out of Brecon. And uh, oh, that's my big town. Anyway, a gorgeous, gorgeous thing. An incredible work. Incredible work. I think a vase like that these days would cost you 40 or 50 pounds, yeah, I think. Yeah. Maybe even into the 60s. And um, but a lovely, lovely piece nice of pressed glass. Nice ring to it if you tap uh, it as well. Oh, yeah beautiful yeah uh, lead glass as well and difference between lead glass and soda glass and i haven't got a piece of soda glass and the soda glass which doesn't ring has a sort of greenish tinge to it there's the sort of stuff they make bottles out of yeah. and uh right so let's um uh, exit stage uh sue's right isn't it yeah and exit stage right for sue and sue's always right anyway it, it's embarrassing for me hey hey this is um a badge you get if you go to Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, this is a special red badge, and um, which means you've given up drink altogether. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's a, a AA badge. Um, really intriguing with a red background. Someone hasn't repainted this. It's um, uh, you know it's been done specifically for this. Um, I, I forgot to get the information, but you can see a few of them on the net. I suppose they had the yellow underneath before they yeah. repainted them. And I can't remember who they were for. Every AA badge had the members number down the bottom. And of course, you also got a key to go into their special telephone boxes. One of my uncles was um, was a motorcycle AA man. And, um, uh, and they had to salute their members as they drove by. Do you remember yes, that? Yeah. If, uh, uh, you know, and that was an important part. Of, they could get fired if they didn't do that. Um, anyway, AA, so AA, I, I, A, A. Now, here's a special one for the Little Witches, making Little Spells. I think we had a cauldron way yeah, back we when. Did, yeah. uh, this one's got well, a got witch. witch on it, it's, this one's a witch on a broomstick flying under the half moon on mm. this side. And on the other side, it's yeah, got, whoa, they're around their a own coven. little cauldron. <laughs> yeah, it's a coven. And, uh, yeah. uh, and, and, and a two-witch coven. Yeah, and uh, But absolutely perfect. We've got a lot of um, ladies with their little spells around here. And um, 
so they'll be glad to have a little cauldron to cook up their mm. their toads and worms and whatever us fingernails. I have newt. I Tell have newt. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I have newt. Anyway, next one then. Should we do? We do Luigi. Yeah. You know he's Luigi because he's got an L and he's got green trousers, and um, and he does that. <laughs> he moves a bit. Mario Kart. Mario Kart is one of those totally kosher things. And uh, I always pick up the Mario figures. You very seldom see Luigi. You really, really see um, Mario. You don't see any of the other characters very, very often. Um, I don't know what he says underneath there. So often these things were given away. It won't focus, I don't uh, Yeah. He's good. He's good. If I pull back a little bit like that. Yeah, that's better. And so if you're interested, you can read the bottom of that. And, uh, and, and, and anyway, Luigi, uh, Luigi, yeah, what up with your face, eh? And um, now we'll have something with a little bit more class, <laughs> which is just a delightful hand-blown amethyst colour. Sorry, Sue. <laughs> hey, you're not very quick, are you? Hey, 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 hey. Why aren't you connected to me with wires? And, um, I don't know. Hand applied um, handle on here. Beautiful, beautiful ground off pontle on here. And um, uh, just a beautiful bit of hand blown glass. I bet that cost me 10 or 15 pence. So it's just absolutely insane. And uh, might be plain, but there is a beauty in that. I love glass. Absolutely love it. Um, now, this is intriguing. I don't know what this is made out of. I, I think it might be some sort of pine cone or it's something. Nut, Underneath it? this, and I couldn't find anything about that. Made in Wales by um, Conway Morgan, Castle Crafts. I couldn't find much at all. I think the man came from Mr. Gunlice, but I couldn't find much at all about it. This is so Japanese in some ways. Do you not mm. think so? So Japanese in nature, the way that it is. And um, it's just, just a phenomenal sort of piece. Yeah, some sort of nut or or, or some sort of pine cone. Um, I really, really don't know. And it's got, yeah, it's had seeds and yeah, maybe that was a seed that's just come out of it. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe it's a bit of, anyway. Absolutely intriguing. Never had anything like that. Never will again. Look, it's still got, I love the way he's left. Yeah. the natural bits yeah, as well really nice. but i tell you you know that, that is just so japanese it might have come from mr gallows but that is so japanese aesthetic to me um the next thing i'm gonna do is oh it's a brown enamel mug everyone needs a brown enamel mug um i, I do like drinking out of enamel mugs especially if we're on um on tour if we've gone to a festival or yeah. down to the coast or something there's just something really nice campfire enamel mug but this one here is a government enamel mug um it's got the crow's foot there tilt it a bit huh? tilt it a bit towards me it's gotten the light from the roof is that better no that's, that's better it. yeah uh, that's better that's better yeah and mm, she's being blinded by the glare uh, so I'm just paying attention to myself. 1969. Typical me. 1969. Um, L. That L8L, I don't know. One's always tempted to say these were prison mugs. Um, I don't know. You know, they could be army. Um, yeah. Although I think the army ones were green, so I just don't know. But of course, there's lots of government departments. But. Um, a nice enamel mug. Now, we're going to find out a few home truths in a minute. There's this. There's this. And there is... Ding, 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 ding. Oh! There's not enough room. Not enough room. There's never enough room. And, um... Okay, so we have got here... We've got, um... Three more bits of, um... Of Bagley Press Glass. Um, uh, this one here, which is, um, you can see odd bubbles in it. The uh, a rim around the edge has been ground off flat just on here. And, um, and, 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 and 1930s, I would have thought. As is this, this is the typical depression glass um, 
uh, pattern with, I don't know what they call these, I've got a feeling they might call them raspberries or something like that, this this sort of pattern on here, I cannot quite remember, but absolutely typical uh, depression glass, could very well be American just because of the pattern, and 1920s into the 1930s depression glass. Um, and then this little bit here, which is just such an odd color, mm. it's not really beautiful, so, uh, you know, I, um, don't understand uh, you know at all I've, I've never had that as a colour and um, and, and, and beautifully ground off on the top ground off on the bottom a lot of this um, Bagley glass this is part of a dressing table set which would have come on a tray a lot of the Bagley dressing table sets are actually copies of um, German firms um, and, and, but what we're going to do now is we've got the precious 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 black light Sue, what do you think's gonna be? Uh, that's gotta be, isn't it? It just almost glows a bit. That's it own. gotta be, and I. I would have thought this was. Yeah. Just because of its era, and this I just don't know. I just thought that I'd put I it think in. Is. Do you think it is? Yeah, I think it, it might be. Good. I don't know. It's an odd colour. Anyway, time for the reveal. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, I think. Um, ah. Yeah, I think we came to a draw on that, didn't we? Yes. You know? Look at that though. I tell you, it's uh, and then look at this, which is still beautiful, but it's not yes, beautiful it's like not, these two. It's not like that, is it? No. Look at that. And um, wow. I think we're going to put a couple of bits from. Uh, um, no, we're not. That was a previous video. <laughs> Ignore my last sentence. Um, this is the end of this one, um, and um, and I hope um, you we can all share the glow. There's nothing like a bit of uranium in your house, is this? So? <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from me. From Sue, <laughs> a pussy pussy cat. Uh, gone back into lazy mode. Now we did the one with all the cats on. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, goodbye. Love, love to you all. Hope you're having a good week, and uh, hope we see you again for the next one. And if anyone can tell us what those plastic figures are, I would love to know. Love, love to you all from all of us. Bye. When you buy your clothes second hand, when you got time to give your neighbour a helping hand. When you plant a tree on barren land I have a feeling you get, hope you understand It's cause you just press the green button Oh, there's no them and us, it's me and you The things we buy and the things we use The way we treat nature, the way we abuse This is our planet, it's our planet to lose Please press the green button Cause the green bottle make you feel good When you don't do the things that you know you shouldn't And when you do do the things that you know you should Hey the green bottle make you feel good So just press the green bottle On talk to the people that you see Say don't fly on planes, don't eat red meat Fill your water bottle from the water tap And don't get into that them and us crap And don't be afraid about appearing a fool Cause we're all hypocrites, we're all green pretenders But that doesn't mean you still can't press the green button Cause the green button make you feel good When you don't do the things that you know you shouldn't and when you do do the things that you know you should Oh, the green button makes you feel good Just press the green button Cause oh, I know it's beyond belief What we've done to the Great Barrier Reef What we've done to the Amazon and the Amazon trees We're burning butterflies, parrots and monkeys And it's the way we live, it's the things we do it's the things we buy and the things we use The way we treat nature, the way we abuse This is our planet, it's our planet to lose So just press the green button So when you buy your clothes second hand When you got time to give your neighbour a helping hand When you plant a tree on barren land 
All that feeling you can't help you understand Is cause you just press the green button Just press the green button Just press the green button And keep the conversation going Keep the conversation going And much love, oh much love, oh much love now. Hey now, much love now.